to take the other extreme, hairdressing today is another art, appreciated by men as well as by the fair sex. Practically gone are the days of the pudding basin and the modern hairdresser needs to be an artist to keep pace with contemporary styles. In fact, nothing surprises a hairstylist like Cyril. If the customer wants something really original, he's come to the right place. A chap who takes pride in, shall we say, his distinctive clothing, likes to cap it all with a hairstyle to match. So he orders the works. After a shampoo, the foundations of the new creation are laid with his barber's magic wand called a blower. It seems incredible, but hair can be molded as easily as plasticine, with results just as funny to some people. Sometimes, however, even a normally reliable head of hair fails to rise to the occasion. And in emergencies like this, when it just isn't long enough, a switch of false hair is thrust into the breach. Not everyone's cup of tea, but this is no time to split hairs. To Cyril, the new style is a work of art. To the customer, it's a mark of distinction. To other folk, it looks like an elephant's trunk, which is just what it is called. We repeat, the elephant's trunk. The hair is carefully woven and curled round the uh, uh, trunk so that it doesn't work loose and a lack of fixative sees that it doesn't sag. The style may not be a practical one, it wouldn't pay to go near machinery for example, but at least it's guaranteed to improve the memory. Have an elephant trunk and you'll never forget.